Alarm and notifications are essential for process management. In Parkview, alarm events can trigger email and text notifications, as well as workflows. After an alarm event at a plant, say scheduled downtime, a manager may want an email sent summarizing the event. This email can include the reason for the machine down, any operator comments about the down, a process, trend, or dashboard to make sure everything is back on track, all without having to log into the site. Let's walk through a quick example of how we can make this happen. First, we'll have to make a workflow that's viewable in Parkview so that we can tie it to an alarm. To do this, we'll check off the show in Parkview setting and then move over to our workflow. So the first step is to save a display image. And then secondly, we're going to send an email. Each of these steps has a variety of parameters that we'll use. Some are hard-coded in, and others are dropdowns. These dropdowns are from this left side param um, parameter field. These are the parameters that we'll want to be able to edit in the alarm configuration so that we can assign different displays for different alarms. So any parameter that we want to edit in alarm configuration, we need to check off as Parkview overridable. Once those settings are ready, we can move over to Parkview. In Parkview, we'll go to the Park Task Workflow tab and create a new template. Here we'll choose our workflow and start filling in the parameters. First, we have the display path which will just be a value. Then we have the email addresses. And finally, we have the reason, start time, and comment. Now, each of these are actually going to be information we get from the alarm data itself. So, we have a drop-down list based on the data type, so we can select reason and comment. And the alarm start time already uh, filled in for us. Lastly, we need to choose when we want this email to be sent. Since this is a summary email, we want it to be sent after the event is over. That way, we'll more likely have our reason and comments in there. We could also add a delay if we'd like. We just save these changes and you're good to go. Let's take a look at that email. Here's an example of that email. So we have the image of the process, so we don't have to be on site in order to view what the process is doing now. We have the reason for our downtime, doesn't appear we have any comments, the start time of the event, and we've also added the link to this trend um, in case you are on site and you'd like to look at it directly. I hope you found this helpful and have some ideas on what you can trigger with alarms.